many facets to the ongoing cover-up in this Cheney uh, shooting story that we're only going to try to cover some of the most blaring. Number one, they kept the police out who tried to come in that afternoon after he'd shot Mr. Whittington from 5.30 in the afternoon until 8.30 the next day. Now, that makes Cheney above the law. A regular citizen, the police are going to follow the law and fill out an incident report. That is state and federal law that they're supposed to do that. But that was violated. That was ignored. Then they took Mr. Whittington to a hospital further away from a larger and more high-tech hospital and wouldn't let the press or the local police in to interview him until the next day as well. And then Dick Cheney's story started to not make any sense. But we're here just to prove that Dick Cheney was obviously closer than 30 yards to Mr. Whittington from the pattern of the shot, the pellets from the shotgun, and from how far they penetrated inside his rib cage into his heart. Here is a side-by-side 28-gauge -side shotgun, the same length as the shotgun that Dick Cheney was using. We're using the exact same shot, uh, two and three-quarter inch, seven and a half shotgun shells. So we're using the same load and the same shells that Dick Cheney was using. We have a variety of different targets here, and we've measured out with a tape measure exactly 30 yards or 90 feet. The first target we're going to shoot has a light background, and we're going to be testing not penetration, but pattern. First, I'm going to fire the shot through the larger barrel that shoots a wider pattern, and then the uh, choked barrel that shoots a smaller pattern. Now, there are around 100 BBs in here, and as you can see, there's about 50 BBs there. Most of the shot went over and around, and we saw the sand behind it become disturbed. So this shows the pattern. We're hearing that it was a focused pattern with dozens and dozens of BBs from here to here, a foot. But do you see that here? Do you see that it was confined to a foot? No, you see that most of the shot went around this target at only 30 yards or 90 feet. Now I'm going to shoot with a modified barrel. Basically, it's the same as with the other barrel. A little bit more shot did hit the target, but most of it still spread out around the target. We've got Bob here, and uh, he is a kickboxing dummy, and he's now served his usefulness for that, and we're going to use him as part of our scientific test here. Uh, Mr. Whittington was wearing three layers of clothes, the press has reported, uh, his undershirt, his jacket, and the safety vest. We're only going to put two layers of thin clothing uh, on Bob here, as part of our test. Okay, now Bob, the kickboxing dummy, just to get the pattern as it hits the human body. We just shot our dummy here, Bob, at exactly 30 yards and 90 feet. They put in the report, and look at this, he's soft rubber. He's soft rubber, very similar to human skin. And look at this, the pieces of shot didn't even penetrate. They simply bounced off. And look at the points where it bounced off. Bounced off there, bounced off there, and embedded right there in the nose. Look at that. Embedded right there in the nose, embedded right there in the face. Look at that. So, and, and here you can see a BB that did go in. See how there's the puncture mark right there? And then if we treffin out the wound, we just popped out the BB right there. Another one right here. See that? Went in about a millimeter. You can see it right here. Didn't go into his heart, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. It didn't even go through the first layer of clothing. Oh, but they, they shot through three layers of clothing with Mr. Whittington. This is only two layers. Couldn't even go through one. And then went through his skin, through his muscle through the rib cage and all the gristle and the muscle that's there, through the inner bag uh, th that separates the heart from the rest of the organs, through another bag around the heart, and then into the heart. And then now they go, okay, well, uh, it, 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 it just drifted to the heart. It still would have had to shoot through all of those other layers. It, it, it's total propaganda. We were just looking at the ballistics of how far the pellets, the projectiles, went. Some of them wouldn't even go through the clothing and got stuck. Some went in about a tenth of a millimeter, some about a millimeter. Now, 
Look at the pattern here, though. Mr. Whittington was hit, according to the medical reports that have come out, by a mass of BBs confined to an area about a foot to 13 to 14 inches maximum, but just about a foot, from the cheek down to his lower chest. This area right here. But when we shot from 30 yards, most of it went past and over and around the dummy, and that's why you saw the disturbance uh, of the sand and gravel behind it. So proof there as well that he was much closer. Dick Cheney, in his own statement, says that they were out hunting and that he rotated following a bird 180 degrees and that he then shot at the bird and hit Mr. Whittington. It's 101 in bird hunting that if three or four hunters are out, you only fire out in front of you. You don't even fire to your side near your companions. You're only firing in this range. But to keep this scientific, we're going to physically measure out 30 feet versus 30 yards. So we're going to be uh, shooting at this target uh, from only one third of the distance. Okay, that's at 30 feet. Now at 30 feet, or one-third of the distance Dick Cheney claims he shot Mr. Whittington at, we're seeing a pattern uh, that is about twice the size of what we saw with Mr. Whittington. For those that may be wondering, what's this big hole that I was aiming for his head with the shotgun? That's the wad. At 30 feet, the pellets don't have a chance to fully disengage from the little plastic wad that is in the front that they nest in. It's kind of like their mothership. Here is a wad from another shotgun. All right, folks, this is at 15 feet. This is at 10 feet. So here we have our targets, testing the spread. 90 feet, much larger than the target, six foot plus spread. Then we have a 30 foot spread, most of it missing the target of at least three, four feet. Then we have 15 foot, a little 10 inch pattern. And then we have it 10 feet away, about a seven inch pattern. And that's exactly what we thought we'd get with shotguns. So somewhere between 15 and 18 feet away, Dick Cheney shot Mr. Whittington. If we can even believe that part of the story. We know they're lying, so you can't believe any of it. And now we know why they kept the police out in violation of federal and state law. They were covering something up. There is the scientific evidence with a 28 gauge shotgun. Okay, here I am at 30 yards, 90 feet firing at the chicken, and then we will fire at the watermelon. Okay, and now the watermelon at 30 yards. Okay, let's go check it out. Only one BB hit it. The pattern was so wide, a few BBs hit here, one BB hit there. I think you got one here. Now let's uh, get into the one visible hole and see how deep this went. It appears that the BB bounced back out just like it did with the dummy. Let's examine the watermelon. And you can see points where it hit. And uh, we, will, we will now try to excise the BBs. Well, uh, just a few of the shot hit the watermelon and we cut it open and about a millimeter under the skin is the BB and it went about two millimeters through the skin. A millimeter deep and two millimeters through the skin so we can give it three millimeters. Well, at the conclusion of this uh, test that we tried to conduct as scientifically as possible with the numbers that Dick Cheney gave the public, this much is clear. He shot Mr. Whittington from 15 to 18 feet instead of 90 feet away, as he claimed. And the farthest that these BBs at 90 feet go into a watermelon and into a Cornish game hem or small chicken is three millimeters as well. Uh, so three millimeter penetration maximum. Some simply bounce off or embedded in the flesh because some pellets get more acceleration than others and a much wider uh, circumference than they reported. Bottom line, our common sense was right. 
as hunters. We knew this was a complete fraud and a lie. That's been proven here today. And we had an engineer here with us. And of course, uh, we'll just say someone who works and has worked in police and military work. And they all have come to the same conclusion as we have uh, off of camera.